everyone children today through this video we will be able to visualize numbers using the base 10 blocks or which is also known as the dines block and then apply some basic mathematical operations on such numbers base 10 blocks are a set of four different types of blocks that when used together can help you to see what a number looks like and understand its value we can see a unit block in green which represents ones also we when we combine 10 ones it makes 110 represented by a pink bar children when we combine 10 tens 100 is formed which is shown through a yellow plane or a plot when 10 such hundreds are taken together it forms 1000 which is represented by a blue cube now let's visualize certain numbers using the base 10 blocks we can see that the value of 20 ones is same as 2 tens which is equal to 20 and as shown on the right hand side we know that 10 red bars that is 10 tens is same as 100 hence we observe that 20 tens will be equal to 200 now let's visualize 20 hundreds now children 20 hundreds will be equal to 2000s that is shown here on the right hand side using the base 10 blocks we just visualized the value of certain numbers now let us observe some pattern we noticed that the value of 20 ones is equal to 20 which is same as 20 times 1 similarly 20 tens is equal to 200 which is equal to 20 times 10 in the same way 20 hundreds is equal to 2000 which is same as 20 times 100 children similarly when we have to find out the value of some numbers like 300 tens we have to simply take 300 times 10 and we get its value equal to 3000 now based on our learnings let us find out the value of the following let us now find out the value of 170 hundreds now 170 hundreds will be same as 170 into 100 so its value will be 17000 in the end the fourth part let us find out what is 110 thousands 110 thousands will be same as now 110 into 1000 which is equal to 1 lakh 10 thousand children i hope you all have understood and now can easily find out the value of such numbers like 40 tens 50 ten thousands four ones 90 hundreds etc now let us practice and find out the solutions of some questions can you see the first question given to you is like find the sum of 45 hundreds and 50 thousand now as learned above to our previous slides we can easily see 45 hundreds 
its value is equal to 4500 which is 4500 similarly 50000 is same as 50 times 1000 and its value will be 50000 now we can easily arrange them in columns and children add them as shown here so the sum becomes 54500 practice one more question now if we suppose have to add 500 tens 458 ones and 39 hundreds then how can we do that children we know 500 tens is now same as 500 into 10 which is 5000 458 ones will be same as 458 into 1 which is equal to 458 3900s will be same as 39 into 100 and its value will be 3900 so we can arrange these three numbers in the column and then find out their sum when we add 5000 and 458 along with 3900 we get the sum as 9358 now let's do some subtraction questions also based upon the same concept suppose we are given a question like this find the difference of 761000 and 49000 then we can first find out what is actually 76 10000s children it is same as 76 times 10000 and its value can be equal to 7 lakh 60000 similarly 49000 will be same as 49 times 1000 and its value is 49000 children we can easily subtract these two numbers by arranging them properly in columns and then finding out the difference between the two we get 7 lakh 11000 as our answer let us now understand how can we subtract 340 tens from 67 hundreds now 340 tens the value is 3400 and how did we get that value same way 340 tens is same as 340 multiplied by 10 similarly 67 hundreds will be same as 67 times 100 and its value will be equal to 6700 now we can always put 6700 on top and subtract 3400 from it as directed in the question now when i subtract these two numbers i get the answer as 3300 which is also equal to 33 hundreds i hope now you will be able to solve such questions easily in which numbers are not given directly but rather in a different way to you and you will be able to find their sum or difference accordingly thank you